Hey, what's going on guys? Jared James here. I am uh, coming to you a little bit more casual than I usually come to you. I'm usually all dressed up in a suit and that kind of stuff, but I actually just got off of a uh, long tour in Canada and then uh, being over in Vegas where basically for the last almost three weeks now I've been in a different time zone just about every day. So figured I'm back in the office today. I'm going to do a little bit more casual, so I hope it doesn't bother you. But I, wa I want to come to you about something uh, very important, which is one of the advantages I've had from talking to literally these thousands of agents over the last couple of weeks here um, has been that I've seen that so many many agents set so many goals, things they want to do, what they're going to accomplish, all of these kinds of things, and yet how many people actually achieve them? And so I want to give you just a couple of quick tips. Number one, when you're, when you're setting your goals, um, stop making it about money. You know, if you think about it, why do you want money? Any goal you set, many times we start with a financial goal. And is it because we want a bunch of paper with dead people on it? Of course not. You know, it's not about that. Remember that anytime you're setting any goal at all, it ultimately comes down to the fact that you're looking for some kind of a feeling. You know, even if it's money, it's because you want security, because you want to feel good about yourself. Some people, uh, you know, think that it gives them power, or gives them choice. Now, whatever it is, it ultimately comes down to a feeling. And so, what I recommend you do is you figure out what feeling is it that you are trying to get, what feeling is it that you are trying to achieve. You know, even if you're trying to give a bunch of money away to somebody, you're still technically after a feeling because you want the feeling of being able to know that you made a bunch of people feel good, you made a bunch of people able to do things they wouldn't have been able to do without you. Okay, so first off, let's just get that straight. Let's stop the financial goal stuff and just get down to what is the feeling that I'm trying to achieve. And then second off, what's it going to take to get there? You know, what pain am I going to have to go through to meet that objective, to meet that goal? You know, I started running recently to get into good shape and, and, and that kind of stuff. And I knew that that was going to take me running, running every other day at night in the cold around snow and ice and whatever it was going to take, treadmills in the hotel rooms, those kinds of things. And I hate the fact of, of even thinking about that. I hate it actually training when I'm running. But I love the result I get when I finish a, when I cross a finish line or, you know, I'm meeting that objective or I've met that goal that I wanted to get. So ultimately, I love that result more than I hate the pain it's going to take to get there. And that's the place you have to get to. Remember this point, remember this for the rest of your days here, is that um, the rituals that you create are, are, are overall going to create who you become, okay? Your rituals determine who you are. And so you know that because you can generally look over an audience or look over people and you can tell uh, who has a ritual of working out five times a week. You can look at them and you can see that. And so I wish sometimes that we could have a, uh, a reality show where we saw an agent doing four transactions a year and another one doing 100 transactions a year and let you see them. Because one of the things I get to see from seeing so many different realtors is that there is an absolute difference in what they are doing on a daily basis. Okay, I think you would agree with that. You know, one of them has a four transaction a year day and another one has a hundred transaction a year day. In that they know they want to do a hundred transactions, so the rituals they have created for themselves lend themselves to creating future business on a daily basis, while the other person is just kind of reacting to everything, answering emails, answering phone calls, updating Facebook statuses, talking to people in the office, and at the end of the day they're pooped because they've worked all day day. Okay, but generally they haven't done anything to create future business. And so one of the things I want every one of you to do and something that I do all the time is take a look at your rituals. What rituals do you have set up right now? What rituals can you create uh, that are going to challenge you, that are going to press you, um, that are going to get you to where you want to go to though, that are going to get you to the feeling that you're ultimately after. Remember, not just the goal, but the feeling that you're ultimately after. Security, happiness, you know, power, whatever it may be, what is the rituals that are going to get you to that goal? And you better like that, that feeling more than you hate the pain of the ritual you're going to have to create. But remember that. Think about your schedule. Think about what you do on a daily basis. And please, start to challenge yourself in what rituals do I need to do. Uh, I hopefully I'll see a lot of you so soon, uh, real soon at different events and whatever. But if not, stay in touch through Facebook and otherwise. Uh, I love staying in touch with so many of you. Have a great day.